The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. Well, in the charges against Bemidji Middle School assistant principal Brendan Bjorkness, law enforcement alleges that he created aliases on social media to solicit illicit photos from his victims. Reporter Mel Meyer talked to area experts about how parents can talk to their children about the hidden dangers on their smartphones. It's easier than ever to send and receive illicit texts, photos, and videos through apps. Apps change so quickly that there's not really a app that's in all the time. Which is why parents need to know of the different types of apps, like anonymous ones, which use their location. Wherever you're sending out location on your phone, it sets you up with the other people that are in that area and on that particular app. Some children might be lured into sending sexual photos over the app because they believe no one else will know who they are. But there are ways that people can figure it out, which puts them in danger. It's a lot easier to give out any information when you think that you're anonymous. Another type of app are the temporary ones. Let's take Snapchat, for example. I open up the app, I take a photo, set the timer, and send it off. Yes, you've put the timer on for that Snapchat, but someone else can have Snap Save and save that Snap. Beyond having someone save them forever, in cases where naked photos or videos are being sent around by classmates, there can be some serious consequences, even for minors. You can be charged with production, dissemination, possession, all of those from pictures. Which is why parents should be proactive. There are some warning signs that your child may be involved in this type of behavior or that they're being abused. Change in appetite, change in school performance, peer groups, um, behaviors that are becoming more aggressive. The advocates at Support Within Reach say the best way to open the door to conversation is letting the child know that you believe them. Be mindful that they might really love this person that also really hurt them and they're going to be confused but tell them thank you that they trusted you enough to tell them. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Both the Bemidji Police Department and Support Within Reach have additional resources for parents and children. More information can be found on our website at lptv.org news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.